they could just try to rely on what Ezreal, Karma, and Sejuani have in their kits, and that they will in terms of magic damage, but they're not going to have like a main AP source on their team. And once again, this pick for Karas, the Akali, blind on blue side. Last time we were a little bit skeptical. We were like, okay, into the Silas. The Silas could start to, to actually do a lot of great things. You know, in the early game, you can get some extra prio and some leads. And this might actually lead to a play up on the top side with the so huge low. amount of trading that has happened up here as here we go, Juhan is here and now Fate's even gonna join in as Rascal will take the aggro flash by Morgan. As he's gonna stand to the turret and take first blood given over to the Jace and Juhan. But not only uh, Ezreal, Karma and the Sejuani, I suppose as we do have a nice little treat here, Juhan level six, he's up a level, he's got Aftershock here, he's gonna miss that one. As will the accelerated shock blast. What do you guys know? You guys are also getting <laughs> yeah, so That also misses. Uh oh, Fate getting pretty aggressive with this one. Might be in some trouble. Flash comes out. He's under the turret. The knockback, though. Yeah, that's the idea here. Effort's also rotating up and does have ult. So good bait. This push is not coming. Can they burst him down? Looks like the answer should be yes. This bait is just trying to push the minions away. Oh. And Kar Varus Heimerding. Zumpty, you're, you're, you're here as Juan is going to run straight into him as a lot is thrown into this bike and they burst down Umpty. As Umpty goes forward, does not care, just does, does get taken out, but opens up the back line here for Karis, who already has his second kill. Is looking for Duck Dom, will pick that one up. But now with Fate coming on over. Out. Oh! <laughs> yes. Yeah, he's, he's in there and he's killing a ward as his team is going in, and now the rest of Bro will engage as down to one health, and it looks like, I guess Bro got it, not 100% sure actually, as down will go Rascal. Oh. In this game, I mean, you've actually got a decent amount of shielding as Barrel, he does have flash once again, he's gonna just use that to get out of here. I also wanted to, okay, hold up, Umpty. Uh, Umpty's like, oh, I can just do this, right? Well, Fate was here, it's a nice amount. Okay, get a little fight here. He's gonna get on top of this Karma as Barrel is in a lot of trouble, but they're using a lot onto Barrel. Will it matter? A huge ultimate comes in from Duhan, allowing him to get Karis and a shutdown onto Fade. Damage to take this one out. Is they're gonna TP oh. for this? Yeah. Bottom is exposed, so you TP for the mid turret, which is more important, is they're gonna force a fight. Rasko's making something of this. They find Umpty against the wall. As Umpty, you see head and hands. And they're gonna get mid turret. I'm gonna get the bottom turret, but he doesn't know about the follow up there from Juhan and DRX are gonna turn this into a Baron. There's that TP. Might be too little too late. Way I mean, too late. They're gonna get the Baron and the turn. Morgan trying to front line for Karis, but it's 3v5. I mean, you're not I mean, I, I can understand trying to trade something back, but you gotta look at the situation. They are actually looking to potentially fight here as DRX. They have Juhan in the front line. Well, it's gonna be a shock blast that does miss. Accelerate and DRX, they don't wanna take any risks, it feels like, although Morgan. Juhan's still here. His cask is coming up in just a second. Yeah, Morgan taking a beating, but he is gonna get on top of the Israel here as Duck Dom in the back line. Can they burst him down? Yes, they absolutely can. As down goes the Ezreal and Karis gets a shutdown of his own as what is going on here? Uh, forcing it super hard. Rascal, I mean, really trying to get that kill. It's now Effort trying to flash out, but he will not be able to. Double kill now for Fade as more and more skirmishes will come in. And Umpty gives the triple kill to Fade, who's looking for a potential Penta. And you know what, Valdez? This is the most interest anyone has <laughs> ever shown. Anyone has ever shown a solo Chemtech I Dragon. Know. Man, this is solo <laughs> Chem Tech Dragon stay! Falling behind. Uh oh. This is. <laughs> it's effort. <laughs> he's just trying to waddle away. He didn't mean to be there, as. Yeah, he's just gonna die. That's gonna be Fate picking up a ninth kill. This could be the beginning of this team sure. finding its footing. They just needed to eventually pull it all together. And maybe they finally did that. All the puzzle pieces sliding into place as Barrel taking a lot of aggro, but take a look at the Baron health. You see that Umpty cannot get in the pit. They can burst it down, and there it goes. Bro in the 5v5, looking to take the fight. Effort is back, as now the flash grenade. They get two in the front line. Down goes the Jace, and Karis has found the back line. And without their Jace, Duck Dom is really the only one doing damage in this fight. Yeah, Morgan is so tanky, they're going to take down two, but no way. it is. And he is not able to flash even. He's just chain CC'd. 
They have a little bit of a Sejuani problem. Juhan just kind of sidling forward saying, hey, I'm here by the way, but that's going to force him to flash away. So a little Ezreal action. Nope. Not going to happen today. So, uh, it is team back. They're not going to be able to chase any further. But still huge. The shutdown gold going over to Breon here. And this Baron is going to be hard to make work. Oh, they're still going in. Umpty has only one direction, and that is forward. The cask is massive again. Fate is doing a ton of damage, though. They're trying to burst down Karis as he will just barely get away. And the huge plant is going to get Rascal in position. Man, I love those plants. As Morgan now is just going to be knocked up and down, he will go. Man. Really showcasing here that this is a, a uh -oh. unit. That is a Heimerdinger that did just bait out a Sejuani ultimate, but you see that Breon were not quite ready. You see that poke is not really doing tons of damage. Yeah, Juhan not having his ultimate. This is actually huge. Oh man, the two tanks going at it. This time, you know, jokes aside, this is actually going to matter. This <laughs> is not the side lane yeah. low state that we had before. The amount of damage you can do and who's going to get the engage. He needs to be up in the front lines here to get the permafrost to proc so they can win this fight. And these shock blasts need to hit. These Ezreal Qs need to hit. All right, there's the chains. He's going to find Juhan, and they're trying to bump, burst him down, and they will. It's 100 to 0 as in goes Rascal trying to just peel for the team, but down goes Duck Dom as well. And that might just be it. I mean, just like that, a couple of picks. And the game might just be over. Barrel is down as well. Three Juhan. picks to the side of Bro. Nice try for They're gonna Fate. try. I don't know. Look at the block there. He's getting in. That's the minion down. The minion is down. They're not gonna be able to kill these turrets anymore. As Rascal stopped the rest of the minions from coming in. Oh my god, Valdez, <laughs> the game will go on. 20 seconds here for Duck Tom. He's gonna A little bit slow on the rotation here, RDRX, but they're coming as fast as they can now. Karas unseen. This is insane. This game is getting to this point. Fate is 100 to 0 as he does have stopwatch. Will he survive the flash on out? The Gore Drinker value. He's still alive. Henna's and down, man. Now he's down. Now he's down. But Karis, he bought enough time and Henna's on the run. That's fight. They get the Chemtex Soul and they get a Baron. They're even waiting for Fate to respawn. There it is. He picks up Baron buff too. Gargoyles. Not I just mean. the Karma. Yeah, gargoyles. You got Sedge and Herald's out. Okay, well. Getting in on there, on to empty. This lethality Varus too, just really not able to do a whole lot in this composition here. Yeah. It's all about Karas, it's all about the engage from Morgan, who went tank, so he doesn't have the damage. He has done some incredible stuff in this series already. And it's, uh, okay, another one on to Duan. He's got the aftershock this time, and he flashes away. He's just trying to stay alive. Look at him, it's okay going all out onto Umpty. Can they burst down the buy? Yes, they can. No more damage, and the, look at the health coming back here for Juhan. Effort. He's really paying on a knife's edge here, and now Morgan's going to be caught out. This, this should be it. Looking like a, a lot like the last game as Karis? it goes. Karis, he's in the back line. Can he get the big ultimate damage? The answer is no. He gets out. He's got a shuriken. Fate's looking for the big shock blast. And he is not going to hit it, but still on the chase. The flash on in. Fate trying to take for Duck Dom, and he will be able to do that as in goes Karis. Perfectly timed stopwatch, but down he will go. And it's only Effort who is alive. What a series this was, Valdez. We're going to see the back here into TP. They're going bottom. Pushing bottom to end the game. Ducktime has a GA. He's very low, but it doesn't matter because even if he's popped here, which it's seems enough. extremely unlikely, it's not going to matter. They've got the push. They've got those Ws. And DRX pulled off their second win of the season in a massive upset here. Oh, boy. Effort trying his best, but it will not be enough. Umpty will respawn. He's trying to clear some minions, but he is not a Jace in this case. As down will go Umpty, and down will go the Nexus. DRX take a 46-minute game. And they take their first win in so, so long. Duck Tom with an injury. He says, put me in coach. Comes in. Game two changes the atmosphere. And you've got Juhan, once again, a player who did play at Worlds, did play last year, and has spent his time in other regions. But when you watch a series like this, it gives you hope. It makes you think maybe this team can reach Aww. greater heights.
As the this emotions is what are this real. means to this team. Their last win was so long ago. I mean, I can barely even remember it. There are.